Traveling to St. Charles, Missouri, we studied three elements of 19th century history of interest to us and important to the state of Missouri. St. Charles is of special interest to us as we lived in St. Charles during 1963 and 4. Major focus of this study is Lewis and Clark's westward journey, the Civil War in Missouri, and Mark Twain. Okay, I, I will not participate in another boring video by Bill. Well, honey, yes, I'd be glad to be in your video. Plenty of people gather in St. Charles for five days of learning and entertainment. Jesse Francis, museum curator, talks about Meriwether Lewis. I am the leader of the Corps of Discovery. Which way is the Pacific? Ulysses S. Grant, general and president, spent time in Missouri. A park ranger leads a tour through Grant's home in Missouri called Whitehaven. Ulysses, it's time for you to come home from that incessant fighting. Yes, dear. Continuing our Civil War studies, we visit the Missouri Civil War Museum on the grounds of Jefferson Barracks. There's a, a real nice book out now uh, on uh, a couple of the uh, ladies that were spies during the Civil War, but uh, you don't find out a whole lot about it simply because most of these people were living where they'd been living, and they intended to stay there after the war was over. A scouting party finds a great, great, great grandfather's Civil War gravesite. Professor Deborah Crank Lewis lectures about the times leading up to Lewis and Clark's westward adventure. Traveling to the old courthouse in St. Louis. Our study of the Dred Scott case is presented as a unique learning experience. Our Rhodes Scholar group reenacts the court trial about Dred Scott suing for his freedom. Step back in time at the Campbell House Museum. On the courthouse steps, we see our next objective. Jefferson National Expansion Memorial, also known as the Arch. Our 30-minute visit to the 630-foot top of the Arch took two hours when the tram stopped working. Views from the Arch were not so unique after the first hour. Particularly in the areas of heavy guerrilla activity, which is primarily along Missouri over to the Kansas border. The object of your mission is to explore the Missouri River and such principal stream of it as by its course and communication with the waters of the Pacific Ocean may offer the most direct and practical water communication across this continent. Thomas Jefferson. Many places west of Monticello claim to be the start of the Lewis and Clark journey. Illinois claims Camp Du Bois. This replica of the winter camp has fallen into disrepair. Between like that. Yeah. Okay. So last month it was Kentucky. This month it was Missouri. Are you following me? Stopping for lunch during a heavy thunderstorm, we celebrate Al's birthday. Okay. Four score and five years ago, my mother, in great labor and pain, delivered me. <laughs> First Catholic Church west of the Mississippi River, 
Built by the French in the vertical log style. I will tell you all about the history of this little town. This is the oldest town on the Missouri River. And this is the Missouri out here, not the Mississippi. Traveling from St. Charles to Hannibal, a close-up view of Mark Twain is obtained. I think you took Barbara it. Barbara meets oh, you think it did? Tom Sawyer. I didn't intend to. I don't know what you've done. <laughs> Huck Finn falls for Tom's trick, getting him to paint the fence. So does Bill. Barbara finds another character. All aboard for lunch and a cruise on the Mississippi River. So we conclude our studies of Mark Twain, The Civil War. Lewis and Clark.